Hundreds of Hoosier families swarm vaccine clinics across our state today, getting the new Pfizer shots for kids between the age of 5 and 11. But this was a bumpy start to the rollout across Indiana with some long lines at a handful of sites. So tonight, our big story digs into what you need to know to avoid a lengthy wait tomorrow. The line for vaccines stretched all the way out the door at the 4-H Fairgrounds Clinic in Noblesville. Hundreds of families waiting hours to get their shot. Oh, at least two hours. At least. Ten-year-old Nate Boyce came with his mom, excited and a little nervous. He's the last sibling to roll up his sleeve. Oh, it's done? You're done. That was really easy. Wow. And that's what the clinic wants, trying to make the process pain free. But on Tuesday, registration was holding up the line with so many walk-in appointments. We really, really want to encourage people to get um, appointments scheduled. So that way we also lock in and we know that we've got vaccine for them. But we keep these in the refrigerator here. Right now, the pediatric vaccine supply is limited, being shipped in waves based on population. All I can say is just be patient. You know, I mean, when the, when this uh, amount that we have is gone, we'll get more in. To handle the different vaccines, the clinic sent up sections with one for those 5 to 11. And to make sure there's no mix up, the pediatric vials also have orange lids. Visually, you can tell the difference right away. And then you just check the, the, the label and then you always check the lot number on it as well. Many families say they've waited months for this. Carter and his little sister Cameron now old enough to get the shot. Six. Okay, we don't have to worry as much about grandma and grandpa and or even them getting sick too. And the best part, everyone gets a treat at the end. Green apple for suckers. Nice. What do you say? Thank you. You're welcome. On Thursday, the clinic does not expect this long of a wait since the state's website will be accepting appointments for those 5 to 11 starting early in the morning. IMS wasn't immune to the long vaccination lines as parents rushed to get shots for children ages 5 to 11. Here is what we saw. Long lines as far as I can see. People were patiently waiting for their turn. Police and the National Guard were doing their best to keep traffic moving. IMS is also accepting walk-ins tomorrow. And the Marion County Health Department is taking appointments at select locations. The IMS clinic is typically open between 4 and 8 p.m. Tuesday through Friday. But look at the long lines that we saw outside of the track today. The lines, in fact, were so long, they had to turn cars away at 6.30 tonight. If you waited in line today but didn't get the vaccine, you can pre-register online before returning to that clinic tomorrow. If you happen to be on the fence right now, whether or not your child should get the shot or hold off, doctors tell us it's best not to wait. Nationwide, more than 8,300 children ages 5 to 11 have been hospitalized with COVID, and things really skyrocketed over the summer because of that Delta variant. There's one study from the CDC that showed about 30% of kids hospitalized had no underlying health conditions to put them at an increased risk. Now keep in mind, this is a two-dose vaccine series, and you're not fully vaccinated until two weeks after the final dose. So if you want your kids fully protected by Christmas, make sure they get their second shot by December 10th. Now listen up. If you're looking for a link because you want to schedule an appointment, all you have to do is text the word vaccine to this number and we'll respond with all the information you need to know. And that's a wrap of tonight's big story.